Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab today with a quick video for you. This is a first look at a product which has just been announced and has just landed here in the lab. It's the brand new sound system from Master Sounds. It's called the Clarity A. Let's get to it. Boutique British manufacturer Master Sounds are best known for their mixers, in particular their rotaries, a number of which I've highlighted on this channel before. They're a rare combination of top-notch quality and accessibility, even more so now that they've expanded their production facilities and actually keep a number of models in stock. With many manufacturers in this class, you're going to have a long wait before receiving your mixer. Back in 2019, they unveiled a new collaboration with TPI, another British manufacturer. They make extremely high-end speakers, covering everything from reference monitors to huge club stacks. Working together, Master Sounds and TPI released the Clarity Audio System. This was designed to offer extremely high levels of audio fidelity for, as they say, home hi-fi, studio and DJ monitoring environments. The system comprised of two Cube 6 speakers, a Sub-8 subwoofer and a separate amp, the PM160 power module. This looked lovely and promised to sound fantastic, but it costs £4,500. I'll be giving prices in pounds sterling, although the products are available worldwide. Now, in the rarefied air of audiophile grade stuff, 4.5k is not exactly excessive, but it's still a lot of money. And I just didn't think it would appeal to enough of you watching this at that price to justify reviewing it on this channel. But now here we are in late 2021 and Master Sounds have just announced the Clarity A system. In many respects it's very similar to the original, a pair of Cube 6 speakers and a Sub 8. But this time the amplification is built into the subwoofer, removing a massive component from the system. And the price? Just under £2,000 all in. Considering the amount of DJ mixers which now command that kind of price tag, it feels like we're definitely more in my wheelhouse there, so I had them send through a system to test. The Cube 6 speakers feature a custom TPI 6-inch full-range point source driver with a 1-inch tweeter. Coaxial designs like this are always interesting, with the tweeter and main driver being combined, as in theory they offer better off-axis reproduction of the sound throughout the room, and should be less fussy about the acoustics of a space than other designs. They are, as the name implies, shaped like a cube and compare quite favourably to regular studio monitors in terms of size. For comparison, here's one next to a regular Adam Audio T7V. The Sub 8 has a custom carbon fibre 8 inch dual voice coil driver and the cabinet features an exclusive TPI bandpass design, so the woofer isn't actually visible. The bass is fed into the room via the ports alone. Again, in theory, this should make the Sub 8 pretty flexible in terms of placement, which I'll be interested to test. Around the sub you have the connections, which comprise a pair of balanced XLR inputs and a pair of speak-on connectors to go out to the Cube 6s, which have matching inputs. The system does come with a pair of extremely premium speaker cables with Neutrik plugs, which is a nice touch when you're spending this kind of money, as is the inclusion of a set of fabric covers to keep the speakers fresh and dust-free. Power is on a standard IEC plug and there is a power switch. What you'll notice is that there is not any kind of volume control. You'll have to take care of that on your mixer, preamp or DAC. There is an LED to show when the system is clipping or the protection has kicked in. Frequency response for the whole system is quoted at 30Hz to 22kHz, which is an impressive spread, and the overall power handling is 200 watts per channel. There should be plenty of volume here for the loudest home DJ sessions. The crossover is built into the Sub 8, and the crossover point is 80Hz, so the Cube 6s are definitely handling a wide frequency range. In terms of build, everything is obviously hand-built and beautifully put together by TPI. I will note here that each system is built to order, taking about two weeks, and is fully tested to ensure all of the components match perfectly. I'm not sure that before it arrived I was expecting the kind of textured paint that you often find on speakers, but it does make sense as it should lead to a very durable finish. This system is designed to last. The front panels are absolutely gorgeous. The custom etched composite panels have a very shiny finish with glittery elements which look lovely in the flesh. Overall, the aesthetic of the system is a very nice combination of both pro audio beefiness and audiophile slickness, and should look as good as it promises to sound in any home or studio. So there you go, a first look at the new Clarity A system from Master Sounds. First impressions are very strong. This is beautifully handmade stuff. It is not mass market production line kit. That is of course reflected in the price. Is that reflected in the sound performance as well? Well, that remains to be seen because so far I've just kind of briefly just turned it on and had a listen here in the lab. Sounds pretty good so far, but of course I need to do some real critical listening. I wanna take it home, listen to it in different rooms in my house maybe take it round to other people's houses as well, 
really try it in a whole bunch of different acoustic environments and see how they perform. So I've got them here for a few weeks and we'll be doing all of that testing. A full review will be here with you on the channel very, very soon. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.